Okay, so I just got an interesting email and I just want to make a quick video about this. This is not a full-blown tutorial. It's just me sat here late at night and I just want to show you. The question was, um, somebody wanted to thicken up the mesh of a metahuman. Now, they've got the reasons for this, so I thought it was a fascinating thing. Um, I've only done this once before and I will show you how to do that now. So. The first thing we need to do is set the scene units and set to 0 0.01. Zoom out. I'm going to select everything and delete. Let me stick on screencast keys in case you need to follow along. There we go. And now I'm just going to import my metahuman body first. Okay, so to import this, I already have a preset and I will show you the details of this preset. So this is what we have i will leave that there for the moment the important thing down here is the x and the z axis and automatic bone orientation is unchecked and that's it now the key to working in blender with these metahumans uh for any type of sculpting is don't touch the bones unless you know what you're doing um I, I really struggle. If I've got anything to do with bones, I, I will take that over to Maya. Anyway, let's import this. There we go. If you look, the bones are all over the place. And that is why I wouldn't do anything here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to select this root and I'm going to Alt-P and keep and clear transform and then get rid of this null. And that leaves us with the armature or skeleton and the mesh. Next, you're going to need a plugin. Let me bring that up now. Here it is. It's on the Blender Market and it's SK Keeper. And this apply allow you to apply modifiers but keep the shape keys. Okay. And to install this, it's just the normal way. Edit preferences and go to add-ons install and when you click install it'll ask you for where the zip file is it will then install you enable it here and here it is enabled and what this does is in the object menu here down at the bottom we've got these apply all modifiers but keep shape keys we'll get to that in a moment right let's make this mesh thicker as you can see, it is quite thin. Right, so let's add a modifier and I'm going to add the solidify modifier. And here we have a offset, um, only rim, fill, etc. And this is the thickness. And if I show you the inside, here is the thickness. I mean, if we do the offset, it should take it inside. Do you see that? So the thickness is still there. It's just got an offset of minus one at the moment. It just depends how thick you want it. But if you go too far, look at the fingers and the toes. So, yeah. Now, let me just show you these fingers. So if I'm pumping this up, look, look what happens in the places that ha that happens, if you don't really need to sculpt there, you can create a vertex group for, say, the hands, and you can put that here. So, for example, it will like, it will only affect those particular vertex groups. So, if I do pelvis, for example, now it will only affect the pelvis. See? But for the purpose of this, we'll do it to everything and I'm going to go as far as I can without changing the outside. Now if we look inside the mesh has really thickened up and now you could use that for sculpting or whatever. Um, again with the weights I don't know if it's going to affect the weights anyway but what I'm going to do is now drag this above the armature modifier and normally you would have, you can apply here with the body, but I'm, I'm going to do it a different way just to show you the shape key thing. So I'll go to object 
and it's either apply all modifiers apply all subdivision or apply chosen modifier we want chosen modifier because we only want this solidify so let me do that it doesn't have any shape keys it's telling me so i can't do it so let's hit apply here and there we go that is now permanently thicker and then hopefully let's just view the bones in front if i select the armature go to pose mode we should in theory still have a character that works it's just thicker okay so next up let's do the head in fact i just missed a very important point i've been doing this a lot lately exporting this okay so let's expand this make sure that um the armature and the mesh is selected and we're back in object mode so make sure everything's selected we want to export export and fbx and i have a preset again here is my present uh pre sorry i'm so tired operate a preset and it is selected objects armature mesh other and then i have these values here in geometry i have it set to smoothing set to face and i've unchecked animation because we don't need that and here armature x and z because that's what i how i imported it and hopefully if this goes correct then you've made no changes to the bones so it should be absolutely fine when you re-import into the engine all right let's move on to the face okay so um i want to export this meta human's head here from unreal let's do that now this is just a project that i'm working on at the minute right so um first let me press stop let's find the meta human head I have to be careful in this project because there is something for a client in here. Uh, face, there we go, MetaHuman, and here's my face mesh. It's open in the wrong window. It's looking very glossy for some reason. Um, right, so let me export that. Right, in fact, in fact, I nearly made a mistake there. I'm going to duplicate this and we'll call this version 2 okay I want to make a copy of it right and then asset actions and export okay and I'm just going to export that and when this dialog pops up I've unchecked let's just reset this to the default uncheck level of detail I only want one level of detail or oh, this is going to get complicated um export morph targets needs to be on there and that's it and then export okay next we're going to need the autodesk fbx converter okay so this is what you're going to need it's available for free from autodesk and it's this one here one of these okay and you're going to need that program so we can it so we can retain the morph targets uh, for use in blender okay so here is the converter and i'm going to add my mesh which was this one here i think yep open that up and hit convert now we're done with that we can close it and what this did is create an extra folder this fbx 2013 and inside is a copy or a modified version of our fbx file ready to import into blender let's import that now into blender okay so here we are we're going to import the fbx let's just refresh this here is the fbx 2013 folder open that up select that and i'm going to use the same pre operator preset again I, I'm not going to touch any of the bones inside Blender. So this is what we have. Import. 
see the bones are all over the place right i'm going to expand this select root and in the viewport i'm going to do alt p clear and keep transform and then i'm going to get rid of this null delete it and hide the armature for now and if we look inside this one this is what we have now obviously we don't want to touch the teeth or anything else so what i'm going to do is select our mesh i'm going to go into edit mode i'm going to click off and then i'm going to go l over the head mesh and it'll select just the head mesh what i'm going to do then is hit p and selection and what that'll do is separate this head mesh from the eyes etc so we can just work on that so if i turn off this one look that's the eyes and the eyelashes and the mouth so all we have now is an empty shell like so okay now we can select this mesh now we have and if you look all the shape keys are here look so they're still all intact and what we're going to do is the same thing we're going to add the solidify modifier i'm going to pull that up above the armature and we're going to play with the thickness i'm going to set it to minus one the same and if we have a look inside it has indeed fattened up but we need to be very very careful with this let's mm. Yeah, I would advise being very careful with this. I've only ever done it with the body before. There we go. It may be a good idea, again, to create vertex groups to eliminate these portions here and just fatten up inside. I mean, that's really thick though, isn't it? So... There we go. Right, that's a little bit thicker look. There you go. There's a little bit more of the mesh to work with. Right, there is a line here. We're going to deal with that now. What I'm going to do is tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to select all. I'm going to shade in and edges smooth edges and that should oh, i didn't get rid of line oh dear right okay so let me try something else mesh merge by distance there we go and mesh i'm hoping this is going to work when i bring it back into the engine shading smooth edges and that's it okay and then back into object mode now if i try and apply this modifier it's not going to work because it's got shape keys so that is where this object apply chosen modifier and we want solidify and okay and this will take a while that's complete that took a while on my machine it took around uh five minutes so that is now done what we're going to need to do now is obviously is join our two meshes back together so select this one and this one and go to the viewport and do Control j and that's it we've got one mesh now what i'm going to do now is re-enable the armature select it select our mesh and export Let's go to, we will call this Thicker Face, just so I can distinguish it. And then I'm going to do the Operator preset again. This is what we have. So these are the top rails, selected objects, armature, mesh, other. These values here, Y forward, Z up, and then... Geometry is 
face. Yeah. And then for armature, I've done X and Z again, because that's what I how I imported it. And unchecked animation and unchecked add leaf bones. Okay, so export that. Right, let's jump back over to Unreal Engine 5. Back in Unreal Engine 5, I'm going to come to my duplicate head. I don't want to touch the original. If I open up the mesh, go to here, reimport base mesh with new file. It's not letting me do it. You see that? So what we can do is come to asset details, scroll all the way down uh, to import settings, find mesh, open that up, scroll down. And here we have file path. Select that and we're going to choose our original file first, which is this one here. Okay, and save. Now what that will do is allow us then to do this, reimport base mesh with new file. And now we can choose the modified one, thicker face, FBX. And open that up and this will take a little while. Okay, so finally during import, it will take a while. We'll get to this box here. Now, what we can do is go through and just set these. Some are set automatically, but as you can see, some are off. So I left, I right, I shall. I'm just right clicking and choosing eyelashes right here as we get down to this one here this is because it's a duplicate and blender renames it that i think or the um auto desk converter so let's find eye edge there we go and then final one is cartilage and that's it and then hit done and then it'll import Right, first things first, as you can see, it's flashing on and off. That is because we've only got a single level of detail now. So type LOD and let's find it there and LOD zero. Here we go. This is what I'm like actually LOD settings and set it to one and apply. Okay, so as we can see here, our head is rotated in the wrong direction. And this was one of my fears. What we need to do now then is go to mesh and import settings. Go to transform and take a look here. If you look, it says import rotation minus 90. We need to set that to zero for this particular one. So now with that, you just click up here, re-import re base mesh right there we go and the next let me just save everything save all i'm going to close this reopen it and let's test an animation on it we need the arc it animation to test this here it is arc it mapping anim and all your face should still move now, there may be some glitches because you have thickened up the mesh. Let's see if we can look underneath at this. There we go. It's really difficult to see, but the mesh is much thicker look. It's especially difficult because on this, one moment, let me type F to center this. Yeah, it's, it's particularly difficult because I have um, chopped the neck off for my character. Let's see if I can just deal with that and show you underneath. Yep, there we go. I've put the neck back and now we can see the thickness. Do you see that? And yeah, look, the mesh is much thicker. And so now you can happily sculpt to your heart's desire. I I would be very careful with sculpting metahumans because obviously um, metahumans are not only these morphs. Um, it's 
it uses rig, rig logic. So it's a combination and it's bone driven, basically, you know, all these bones behind here. And so you start messing around too much with the mesh. You're going to damage these facial movements. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I can't get my words out, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying that, that there is bones moving behind here. And so you start moving this mesh way out of the way of those bones. It's not going to work anymore. Um, that's it. So that's how you create a thicker mesh that you can use for sculpting or whatever it is that you require. Right. Proper tutorials are coming back next week. I just thought I'd give you this since it landed straight in front of me. I don't answer every email, but every now and again, I do read them. And so this one did intrigue me. Right. Please remember to share, like, subscribe, and don't skip the adverts. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> bye bye.